Well, hello. Um, I've been asked by Amanda McNabb, one of our subscribers and commenters, to show a bit more detail on the Truma blown air heating system that we have. Amanda, I think you're trying to um, sort of choose between maybe Aldi wet heating or um, the blown air heating, or is it that you've got a problem with your blown air heater? Um, I can't quite remember which it is, but I know you asked the question, so I'm, I'm not sure this is going to be of any help to you whatsoever, but I'll show you the system that we have. Um, around, around the van, we have um, little outlets for the blown air, and I'll just show you a couple of those now. There's one, one down here. Uh, that one there, that's uh, a blown air outlet, that one. But also we have um, in the bathroom, you won't see it, but this is the shower room. There's an actually a blown air outlet underneath there that blows air down. And then of course uh, that keeps all the shower room really warm. But let's show you the controls. So what we have here is the, this is all of the control panel here. This is the heating control here. Um, I'll just show you the other one, just so you know what that is. This tells us how much the battery is charged up for the leisure battery and whether we're plugged in to an electric hookup. Turn it round, this tells us how much water we've got on board and it's currently reading at 25%. That shows us our fresh water tank. And then we turn it one more. This tells us that our wastewater tank is now full. So we're just about to empty out uh, the wastewater tank. And this one tells us uh, about the starter battery um, for the engine. But over here on the control panel here, you see it reads um, the current time. And if we give it a press, It'll bring it on to the van heating and uh, we can give that a, another press. You see it's currently off, it's quite sunny, but we can turn that up and you'll see um, when it goes off, there's a little flame that comes on there when it's on or off. And we can set the degree, the temperature in degree centigrade and that, that will go all the way up to 30. Um, we don't need it up there. We normally have it on about 18 or 20, maybe 22 if it's really cold. Once that's, uh, once you've set the temperature, you just press it and it goes back to that and flashes uh, while it's heating up. So next is the water uh, and that works on the same. It's on eco at the moment or we can go it on hot or boost if we want it to really get hot quickly. Um, or we can turn that off. If we're trying to conserve energy on the batteries, we'll turn the water heater off. Normally have it on eco or hot if we're plugged in to the power. This is um, <clears throat> for us to choose the type of uh, power that we're going to have on the heating and the hot water. We currently got it on electric uh, 2 kilowatt. We can turn it down to electric 1 kilowatt. A mix of uh, gas and two kilowatt, a mix of gas and one kilowatt. Put it on gas only, so that will go on to gas only heating. When we're plugged into uh, electric at 16 amps as we are today, we keep it on electric two kilowatt. If the ampage on the electric is not that great, I'll turn it down to one. Um, I'll turn it down to one to just to give it a bit more chance of staying on and not tripping off. Then we've got the fan power for the for the blown air, and we can you know I've, I've got that switched off at the moment, but we can turn that up, and each of these blades will sort of go dark when the heating's on. <clears throat> we can turn the fan up. There's also uh, down here a heater. Um, timer that we can set 
to to come on and go off there's also the clock setting so we we can set the clock there and also some other um, functions uh, that will set the uh, various things so if we want to get out of that we just press the return button here but that's pretty much it for our uh, blown air heating system and all the hot water and the Truma iNet ready control um, there is another uh, set of controls that you might have noticed up here um, this is for the um, well I'm, not, I'm actually not quite sure what that is for um, no I, oh, I think that's for something to do with the um, or the duo oh, I don't know I'll have to read up what that is I don't actually know what this button is for this one is for the water pump um, to turn the water pump on and off so there we are um, it's interesting to go around the van and and try to explain some of the controls to you guys um, because as you'll notice there I found out that I didn't know and still don't know what one of the controls is for we've got all the um, all the sort of books and stuff in here in this cupboard here so I can just get those out and and make sure that we know what that's for but we're um, we're actually busy getting ready to move along now so we're leaving Sunnyside um, now and heading back to our work site to uh, where well, we're getting back to work uh, tomorrow anyway that's it for now uh, just a quick explanation and um, Amanda I hope that was useful for you. See you again next time. Bye-bye.